Rifle season may have come to a close, but that doesn't mean the hunting is over. Muzzleloader season begins December 7th and runs through the 16th here in the UP. And the importance of keeping your firearm clean cannot be emphasized enough. It's time for a trip to the gunsmith to find out how. On muzzle loaders as well as on center fire rifles, if you can clean them from the breech, that's ideal. But if you have a barrel that is set with a ball starter crown, which is recessed, then you can clean from the, from the muzzle without the danger of damaging the crown. But muzzle loaders are extremely critical to be kept clean. Uh, there's a variety of powders available. One of the common products been on the market for quite a number of years is Pyrodex. Measures the same as black powder. It's not as dirty and corrosive as black powder, but it still is corrosive. There are more modern products available, one of which is Blackhorn 209, which is the cleanest powder in the synthetics, but it can be used only in inlines with the proper style of breech plug. First thing you want to do is remove your breech plug. Most inlines come with a specific tool for for that operation but if you have the proper size socket you can do it with your ratchet and your socket. It's critical to keep your breech plug clean so you want to clean that very thoroughly before you put it back in. As with your center fire firearms you want to use a jag not uh, not a loop and uh, this particular ramrod that the gun comes with has the jag right uh, as an integral part of it using a patch of appropriate diameter for the caliber. Wet your patch. Again, you want to use a brush of appropriate diameter. Half dozen strokes or so. Now the clean dry patch. We're definitely not there. We've got fouling showing on our patches, so repeat. And you want to repeat the process until your final dry patch comes out completely clean to assure that you have all the fouling out of your barrel. Now if you're shooting sabotaged bullets, you would want to use sabot solvent because the sabots are plastic, much like the wad on your, uh, in your shotgun shells. And those, because of the heat and the pressure, uh, does deposit plastic inside your, your bore and you want to make sure that you have that cleaned out as well. And for that you use a, a product uh, specifically for uh, dissolving that. Once you have your bore all clean, then it's time to make sure that you're Breech plug is, is good and clean. An appropriate size device to make sure it's clean all the way through. Little needle works. Paper clip if it's small enough. Treat with solvent. Q-tips are real handy for getting in the cup here. Make sure that that's good and clean. Then before reinstalling your uh, breech plug, it's a real good practice to use some kind of product on it. There's a number of them out there on the thread so that you don't have a problem with the, the thread seizing up due to corrosion. If you don't have products such as this to use and you have some never seize, that does work as well. But being careful that you don't have any down on the end of your breech plug where the flash hole is to contaminate your powder charge. And tighten but don't over tighten your breech plug. Reinstall it in your in your stock and you're good to go. Of course on the side lock style of, of muzzle loader you don't have the option of cleaning from, from the breech. You do have to clean from the muzzle. And you want to, before you begin your cleaning process you want to remove your, your nipple. And it's just a repeat process until you end up with a clean patch on your last one. Now if you were getting ready to store this, you've done, you're done with the season and uh, you're all ready to put the muzzle loader away for the for the season. It's a good idea to take a product such as the natural lube and coat the inside of the bore lightly. It does not take a great deal of it to do the job and that will protect your bore and keep it from rusting over the storage period till the next season or you use the firearm again. And you want to make sure that your your nipple is good and clean and regardless of whether you're storing it or if you're getting ready to start your season, 
It's a good idea to put some lubricant lightly on the threads so it makes it easier for you to remove it the next time when you have to clean. Again, snugly but not over tightened to make it difficult to get out the next time. If you're storing the muzzle loader, do not store it with the hammer completely down on, on the nipple because that will then potentially rust the nipple shut. Put it on the half cock when you store it. Check on your ramrod with the gun empty where you're going to be so that you know if you have a load in there or not. If the rod goes all the way into this point, there is no load in the firearm. And then when you have loaded the, the firearm and it's loaded correctly, you would want another mark on your ramrod so that you know the distance if it's loaded correctly and the ball is pushed all the way in, what the measurement is from the load to the muzzle so that you're sure that you get that bullet pushed in all the way. You do not want to pound on the, on the ramrod to set your bullet. You don't want to uh, produce a, a compressed charge. You just want it firmly on top of your powder charge or on top of your pellets if you're using the, the pre-measured pellets.